Hi friends. I haven't sat down and just filmed a video sitting in like years it feels like. So this is gonna be like so easy to edit and I'm really excited about that. So welcome, we are at my resort. If you can't tell, um, I'm staying at French Quarter. It is my last day here before I fly out at like 3 a.m. tomorrow. And your girl um, still hasn't returned this costuming piece. <laughs> Uh, I need to do that later today. So I thought I would film what's in my character tent pouch because it's super, super full of stuff before I finally wrap up my like vacation at the end of my program. If you don't know, this is my pouch. I carried this with me almost every single day at work with the exception of like a few days. Um, but most days I carried this with me on my belt. I will insert some photos of me in my costume where you can see this. All attendants will get this, and if you're a performer and super greeting, sometimes you can pick one of these up as well. Some photo pass carry it with them too, just because they're handy. And this is part of Disney look, so you have to carry it. You don't get a choice. Um, but it's also super handy. I joke that I like wanted one of these in my everyday life <laughs> because it's the most convenient thing. I currently have two belts rolled up in here that I need to return, but at the end of the day, I would just roll up my belt and keep my belt in my pouch. So I knew it was there. I also have a bow tie in here that really needs to be returned from TSD. There is like three different compartments. There's a big one back here, a big one here, and then a little small one up front. So I'm gonna go from the back forward, I think. There's a teeny tiny little pocket you can see in the back here. This is essentially the sticker pocket where I just keep stickers. I also kept my debit card in here, which people would always be like, you're gonna lose your card. Never did, um, but I kept my debit card back there too, so that way I didn't have to like go and like grab my wallet and stuff during breaks. But at base, when you check in, there'll be a bowl of stickers. I tried and picked up stickers for who I was working with that day. So I was at Pete's, I have like Donald, uh, Minnie, Daisy, I had Chippendale when I did Advantage with them. And they also have a bunch of just like random ones. Pirate Mickey, they did a bunch of Snow White in the Snow White room. Sleeping Beauty, who is this? I think that's more Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um, but a bunch of stickers. I have a craft ton of these for my program, but I kept stickers there. This is a gift that I accidentally forgot to give a performer. It's a bracelet that a kid made for them. Sorry. It's in the little one. And then in this like bigger pouch, I have a few other things. So a wild pen, sunscreen. This is my favorite. She's very beaten up, so you can't even tell what she is, but this was a Neutrogena stick sunscreen. I want to say it was like SPF 60 PA++, which is like what you're looking for to protect you from all the rays. I like the sticks. So I could just throw it in here and it went on clear. Um, but when I worked outside for really long days, sometimes they were like 10 hour days outside. This was nice to just have on my belt because I could just rub it on my arms and mostly my forehead and my nose got burned. So I highly recommend this. I used this last year in parking too. That's why I knew that it would be good to use. I have a lip balm. I should have carried an SPF one with me if I was smart, but... <laughs> I'm kind of not. This one is the Laneige uh, like sleeping mask in a tube. It was like 15 bucks. I really like it. I don't know. I just carried it with me because honestly, sometimes it just gave me something to do. A receipt. Also a bunch of garbage in here right now, so I'm sorry. Uh, Halloween candy from when I worked at Halloween party. Wrappers from Halloween candy, because when I ate at the Halloween party. Um, oh, I have a random Dale pin in there. Whoops. Um, I have a little Donald that fell off someone's croc. A lot of this is just stuff I forgot to turn in, I think. Um, I do have a bunch of um, <laughs> cough drops in here. So I felt like I was always sick. So I was just sitting in like circulated air all the time. Um, so I always carried cough drops in this because I wasn't like wanting to, you know, cough all over children all the time. I have another croc thing. I have some, <laughs> what are those called? Paper clips. And then I have some more really beaten up uh, chip nail stickers. So that's my big pouch, you know, mostly just garbage. Fullest pouch is this secondary pouch here, which is where I keep like my actual useful things. So I have a whole bunch of maps and time guides here. So I have a not so scary map, because I work that, I have a bunch of regular Magic Kingdom maps. And then these are now outdated. Yeah, but these were August time guides. These are just to hand out to guests if they have questions. It's easier for me to circle something on a physical map than try and explain on the app a lot of the time. Again, more pens. I brought a pen from home because I liked it better, but I have a bunch of company pens too. And then um, a lot of this I usually keep in this little outside pouch. So let me see, let me empty this bad boy out. This middle section, I also, I kind of like 
I kind of switch in between what I do in like the outside pocket and the middle pocket but this is like generally what I keep in that middle pocket things that I'm not using that day are what are in that middle pocket so I have like Halloween telecast a regular telecast these have like all the numbers that you can call you can ask about like entertainment things things like that I'm gonna draw on a set list that I'm not gonna show because like it's literally illegal to show so if you ever see a set list online that's not good um, but set lists essentially tell you when your performers are on and when celebrations are for like for Crystal Palace it tells us when they do the poo raid for Chef Mickey's they tell us when the celebrations are um, this is just to make sure that your performers are coming off on time making sure everyone's safe it's really nothing exciting some of them will also have count sheets um, and your count sheets pretty much are the same thing but you have a clicker with you and you count how many people are with you um, just so they can see how many people you're going through per set so you know when to close the line at the end of the day see how fast um, your performers are moving old telecast I have my old debit card in here uh, this is like an entertainment guide so this had the like exact locations of character meet and greets and there are set times for the Halloween parties it also had like the magic shots for photo pass and then the exact times of um, parades, shows, things like that because the map didn't have it and the Halloween telecast for regular cast didn't have it either so entertainment made these for us. A lot of these are just like old set lists. Honestly, um, I have Crystal Palace, one for TST. This I can show you because this doesn't have like anything on it but it, this is like the seating chart for the contemporary so it doesn't have more, a rotation on it but this way, if it was like, oh, table 75 hasn't seen Mickey or Donald, I could like look and see table 75. That's what this is too. Um, this is garbage, now I'm gonna toss it. But this is from Chef Mickey's. I'd write down like Mickey, Minnie, Goofled, Goofy, <laughs> Goofled, Goofled, uh, Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Pluto. And then I could write down like you can see table numbers that needed to see specific characters. And then when they saw them, I would scratch it off. These are old, but like villains telecasts, old ones in there. Um, I have some like random autographs in here. I have like an Elena autograph, a Cinderella autograph that kids just never got from me, I guess. Um, another Chef Mickey's one. Drawn on card. Um, I have like a blister cover in here just in case, you know, my feet decided to quit. Um, I have a band aid because I have a tattoo on my leg that I covered with a band aid all summer. So my band aid's in there. Um, really long set list is for Pooh and Tigger. Um, and I would just keep that with me all the time because I lived at that location. This is a Crystal Palace seating chart. It's just the rotation. This isn't anything like confidential that you can't see with the company because we tell guests that. Um, more Chef Mickey's, a post-it note, TST. I have some like more random stickers that were just shoved in the bottom there. Can't tell I'm a sticker hoarder. Um, that's Pete's. This is the 4th of July telecast. That's garbage. Um, another old telecast. Can you tell that I literally didn't clean this out ever? Um, what's this? It's like a handwritten one. Who are you? Literally don't know what that is. Country Bears set list. That's one that I could also like technically show because it doesn't say anything like sus on it. Um, I have a <laughs> contemporary AM list before it was the PM. I have another, what's it called? Rotation chart for Crystal. Um, I have this lovely card that says Fant on it because Tigger one day was trying to do the Fantasmic dance um, at Crystal Palace and I didn't understand him and he got frustrated because I'm stupid. So he stole a paper and wrote Fant for me. So thank you for that, Tigger. Crystal, TST, Snow White, Long Lost Friends, Crystal, and Contemporary. So yeah, that was mostly just a bunch of set lists, telecasts, maps, things like that. Honestly, mostly garbage. I kept an extra name tag in there as well. My other name tag is cuter. This one, like all of the stars and stuff are rubbed off it, but just an extra name tag in case. And now we're on to the last, which is the little pocket up front here. Oh no, just kidding. I have a few more pens and hair elastics in that middle one. Um, I keep mints. Um, I don't know if me or Palmer will need a mint. Um, also, a guest gave me this sticker. They said, have you ever seen the Cowboy Mickey sticker? And I said, no. 
and they gave me this one because I said that sounds super cool and I've never seen it before. So it's like my favorite sticker of all time. So now on to my little front pouch. Obviously I have all my markers. I like to keep mine rainbow coordinated um, because they're prettier like this. You only have to carry one marker with you technically. Um, recommend it being a black Sharpie. Um, I carry a bunch of colors because I think it's cute for characters to sign in colors. Uh, if people have like frames and things like that, it's really cute when you can do a bunch of different colors for different characters. Um, I actually shouldn't have the yellow in here because the yellow is like impossible for your character friends to see. Um, but I worked a lot with the same characters. So, like orange is really nice for Tigger, red for Pooh Bear because he can't do yellow, um, green for like Tinkerbell, Tiana, blue for Cinderella, purple for Rapunzel, pink for Piglet, things like that. But those were all my fun colors. And then I did carry this one here. It has a different lid on it, but this is just a regular black Sharpie and then a fine tipped on the end because you never know when you're gonna need it. And the only other thing is I kept like my relevant stuff in the front. So I had one Halloween telecast because that was like one of the last shifts that I worked there. Um, a bunch of note cards. I, have, I took so many of these, I'm so sorry, Disney. This is pretty much if people forget autograph books. They can slide these into an autograph book and get a signature that way. Um, again, if you're at the contemporary, this is where I take my like recovery notes. Um, or people will give you things sometimes that they can't sign. So your character friends can't sign things like a shirt on a kid's body or, you know, someone's birth certificate, which someone literally asked Spoon Tigger to sign once. So you have these handy so they can sign these instead of signing something like illegal. And the last thing, um that was up there is this little book so they give you this book in your core days it's a little notebook they're all different colors this is actually to write your set times down um i'll show you this page because this page i was a breaker so this page doesn't have any information i literally just went and gave breaks to people it doesn't have any character info at all on it um but when you check in the morning and you write things down this is essentially me writing like from 11 15 to 11 30 i'm breaking front of line and then from 11 30 to 11 45 i'm breaking a side which is daisy and pluto 45 to noon i'm breaking b side so goofy and donald so she just has all my breaks in there to keep myself on track um again this is a breaker schedule so my lunch is from 12 45 to 1 15 and then from 1 to 135 i'm breaking you know the fairytale garden merida inside attendant and then the outside and then thoughtful and then their 15s so just things like that. Um, most of them will have things like the set lists and count sheets for you to know their set schedules. Um, but a lot of them don't like Be Our Guest doesn't. Most places that don't count your guest amount don't give you a count sheet, obviously. Um, so you have to write down your set times. So they give you this instead. And then the only other thing that I carried with me is this. I was given this on my core plus day one so it was like my first day actually like in training at magic kingdom and we went to crt which i ended up working i'm really glad i got to work crt cinderella's royal table and this is what they give guests so they gave us little wishing stars so all summer i kept this little wishing star in my pouch for good luck um yeah now this table's covered in garbage we're doing amazing <laughs> that's it that's what i oh i forgot this bad boy <laughs> this bag is ripped everything's falling apart but the last thing that I usually kept in like that middle pouch is my earpiece these are the ones that you got to Magic Kingdom so if you had a radio this is like your personal earpiece they give this to you you get to keep it it clicks in here it obviously wraps around your ear sticks into your ear this connects to another piece which connects to your radio um, this is so you know if you're 101 if the parade times are moving you need to pull a set character needs to be in different places at a different time if you're going to your rain location things like that this is what magic kingdom use some parks use little bluetoothy ones some parks use the whole ear over ones but we just get this in magic kingdom so i kept it in its little bag can't believe i almost forgot about her even though i never used it because i can't understand anything also i had a fuel rod in my um <laughs> in my boat just because my phone was dying one day and that's it so yeah that is my that is my pouch, everything that was in it that I carried with me every day. I also need to take this off. This was like a gift that a guest gave me, but there's a couple that comes and plays games with the characters and then gives the characters like presents. Um, and I saw them like literally three days in a row at every location because I was breaking her spares that day. So they brought me one. So it's a little um, keychain and it's a bottle cap. Can we focus? It's a little bottle cap that has 
Peter Pan on it and they gave it to me when I was working Long Lost Friends. So that was just like a little, a little thing that I kept for me. That's everything that's in my pouch. Now I can empty all of her out, go return this, which I'm actually genuinely so sad about because I'm gonna miss this thing so much. Um, but hopefully if you are an incoming character attendant, this will be handy to you. Um, it gives you an idea of things to like buy before your program. Um, but yeah, my program is officially over now. I'm done. I fly out tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed following along with my life. And I have so, 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 so many more vlogs coming. So please stay tuned because I have literally like 15 videos coming up that I filmed and just haven't gone out before I left. So please, please, please subscribe. It is application season now. So all our new spring people are applying. I'm applying for another program in a couple weeks. So yeah, subscribe, keep up, hit me up on Instagram. It's where I'm the most. And I'll see you guys with another vlog very soon.